All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, fellow pandemonium travelers, this is Seattle Pandemonium Shutdown Day 230 by my count. 230 days, boys and girls. Life is slowly returning, though. I will say that. Look at all of this traffic. Again, I've promised I was going to do like a, a transition or like a mashup. Because I drove on empty streets for weeks and weeks back in, oh, you know, March, April, May. Being like the only car on the freeway is a very disturbing feeling. What's going on today? What's going down? Uh, I guess we got to talk about coyotes and how blue check Twitter are a bunch of morons. I, I, I don't have a polite way to put it. Uh, I, I, I think they're idiots. Uh, <laughs> so in the debate last night, um, Trump said, God, was that, yeah, it was last night. Yeah, I was cutting up, cutting up clips and throwing them up there. Um, Trump said, Coyotes are trafficking children across our southern border. And blue check Twitter, who are, again, complete morons, including very prominent, very large followings, your, your David Hoggs, various other blue check journos, all saying, you know, posting pictures and memes of like coyotes, like, like the animal you know, like, carrying children. And it, I, like, I can't, I, like, thinking the thought, thinking that thought hurts my mind. I, I can't, I don't, I don't know what to do with that. It, it, like, it's 2020, and there, it's not a few. It was, like, dozens and dozens, like, probably more than that. And then they started deleting them when they realized how stupid that is, how stupid they were, but some of them didn't. Like this one girl, she's like a she's like a elected official in like Georgia or something, and her her <laughs> her post was, you know, like Trump thinks coyotes are carrying babies across the southern border or whatever. 50,000 replies and like 1,000 likes. That's got to be an all-timer in terms of ratios. I don't want to explain ratio to you. If you know what I'm talking about because I'm too online guy and you are too, then you understand what I'm talking about. That's a lot of replies. <laughs> and it's a lot of replies telling you how dumb you are. Uh, they thought, like, I got I to gotta try to get through this. I, I just, It's so fucking stupid. I just, I just don't know what to do. They thought Trump was saying that literal coyotes, like the dog creature, were carrying children across the southern border to Mexico, from Mexico to America. I, and they thought, that's really stupid, I'm really super smart, so I'm gonna post a wily e. Coyote meme that's making fun of Trump. And it's just... I don't know why I'm going the same way as yesterday. I should go different ways, different directions. Um, different parts of the city for you, the viewer. Um, but yeah, and so for people who apparently don't know, I, I don't I, I don't know how people don't know this. It's been part of the conversation about immigration for literally decades. There are individuals in Mexico known as coyotes they take people from Mexico through the known routes, through the deserts, and across our border into America, where they then become illegal immigrants. And the coyotes also traffic drugs and guns. They also traffic the people they are bringing up through the border. So men and women and children, and the women and children get sex trafficked. It's just part of the it's just part of the deal. Oof. It's just part of the... Um, I wanted to get a good look at this little encampment over here. Oh, boy. Just... Just... It 
it's just, it really is like this. It really is like this. But yeah, so... God, it's just... It's like the stupid is so painful, I don't know what to do. I... Like... Like, if you thought that it was something really stupid, like, you literally thought Trump thought coyotes were, like, carrying children on their backs or, like, in bags is one of the memes that I saw. Wouldn't you take a second and go, wait, what did he just say? Did he, did he really just say that coyotes are dragging children across the border? Maybe he meant something different, right? Maybe I don't, maybe I don't know what he just said. Rather than assuming, God, Trump's so stupid, he thinks that, he thinks that dogs carry children across the border. He's so dumb. And then you take it to Twitter and post some stupid, cringy bullshit and out yourself as a complete imbecile. Like, I just don't, I just, it's like, it's just, like, ridiculous. I, oh, my God. I, I just... And, the, and the, these are... And again, almost all of these were blue checkmark Twitter. And I've, done, I've trashed them before. They are obnoxious. They are granted this blue check thing that grants them supposed... Check out the stadium. T-Mobile Park. imposing. Remember sport ball matches? Maybe we'll see those again next year or something. But yeah, trashing the blue check Twitters. Maybe it's a white check Twitter. There's There's been argumentation about this. Are they blue check or are they white check? Because the check mark is white, but the dot is blue. Mm. Anyways, God, they're just so dumb. And it just it, it's just one of these obnoxious things where it's like, you are so you are so far behind in understanding basic like you know immigration right just like immigration issues that you don't know what a coyote is and yet you seem to think you're some kind of of genius because you write articles about immigration and stuff but you don't know what you're talking about oh my goodness and I just surpassed a thousand followers, so I'm going to... Oopsies. I thought there was a turn lane here. There is not. Um, yeah, my thousand follower line. I, I, I said I would do a, uh, a show my face video and do like 30 minutes. You can do 30 minutes and... People asked about, like, my backstory. <laughs> I don't know how interesting that will be, but that's what, that's, what the, that's what the followers asked for, so I guess that's what I'll give you. I wanted to come down here real quickity-quick, and... Oh, God, I can here. Ugh. I wanted to come down here and show you this. I came down here one night, and it was... Wow, it, w it was really something. Oh, shiza. Now we have to wait for a train. Yuck. All right. Mm. Sorry, guys. You got to sit here with me and watch this train go by real slow. I don't know what they're doing. the other thing I saw the other day 
the, the alleged Biden plan for a giant rail system upgrade all over America, you know, trillions of dollars on rail. And it's just one of these, one of these things like, there we go. You figured it out, Highlander. like all these all these vehicles not all of them but I mean people live in these vehicles just park them down here yeah there they are the RVs meth wagons yeah see people are like living in all these cars down here and you look at all these he's at least got the slide out he had the AC going after just RV after RV I mean I get it it's better than like sleeping in a car is better than sleeping on the street but you know these are not these are not these are not houses Oof, that, was a, that was an interesting one these are not these are not domiciles that you should live in I it just yeah well, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, invest in rail. You know, yeah, Biden, invest in rail. That's nothing says wave of the future like reinvesting trillions of taxpayer dollars in technology from the 1800s. I mean, we could like I don't I don't think people understand they're like we could have like what they have in Japan or like what they have in Europe and it's like Germany, if I remember right, is like the size of Idaho and Montana put together. I might be wrong, but I remember, like, I think my German teacher in high school made that comparison. Like, it's not that big. So if you're talking about making a, a rail network around a country that size, it's not as big a deal. You talk about going coast to coast in the United States with thousands of miles, right? It's just, you know what? No turn, no turn on red. I mean, it is a pandemic, I do what I want, but I also don't want to attract don't want to attract any John Q. Laws. So here it is, more. Right next to the stadium. Just abandoned cars, or abandoned, or a home. It's a home, somebody lives in it. I can't believe this. Like, I mean, like, this is, this is safe go, isn't it? Isn't this safe code? Like the the feeling of emptiness and abandonment. Like this was a this was a hub of the city. Even the even though even though Seattle even though Seattle was winning his team is the Seattle Storm. Uh, they got like multiple ships. People turned out for Seahawks when the Seahawks were winning. Oh boy, just. Mariners almost always had a decent show, you know, a decent turnout. People like their people like their teams, you know. And now to just see, and it's like it's like Pioneer Square, same thing, a hub, a hive, always buzz with people, and not just like homeless people, like normal people. There's people kicking it, nice. Nightlife, day life, galleries, you know. You know, life, culture, people. Now it's all gone. The only thing down here now, it seems, are boarded up shops, a couple like bars seem to be open, and homeless people, and meth wagons. It just, just staggers the imagination. I, I, it's like it's still, doesn't quite feel real, you know? Like I've been driving around in it for 230 days and it just doesn't feel real. It still doesn't. See, just tents, 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 just people living in tents. It's about Skid Row, it's like the whole, it's like, there's not, it's no longer a row, it's the whole zone, the whole sector is, Abandoned. 
and I'm not seeing coherent a coherent strategy to fix this. I I, I don't. It's Where are you going? Where are you going? You going left? You going left? You going left? Okay. Ooh, two engines. I mean, no one's talking about defunding the fire department, that's for sure. I don't know, maybe I'm just rambling now, because it's Friday, I'm tired, I worked the day shift rather than the night shift, and that, that messes with you like a vampire going out during the day. You might be able to do it without dying, but oh boy, does it take a toll. Um, I was talking about this with a friend. So, basically the reason you're never really going to hear defund the fire department is because, see, tents, encampments, they like to call them. The semantic game of People experiencing homelessness will also never be irritating, never not be irritating to me. It's a nice Mustang, but I'm doing it. Um, because the fire department show up to, mel well, medical emergencies, but they also show up when your house is on fire. And what do they do? They try to put out the fire and comfort you and, and help save the day. Um, whereas the police show up and they arrest your father your brother, your mother. They might hurt them in a scuffle. They might kill them in the, in the course of trying to administer the law. Um, <clears throat> so them doing their job negatively impacts people in ways that are really agitating and irritating to a lot of people. No one likes getting arrested. No one likes seeing other people get arrested. No one likes having a loved one get arrested. No one likes the police roughing them up, the police having a bad attitude with them. And... So then it creates the whole milieu, there's that word again that I like to say so I sound smart, milieu of being mad at the police because the police have done bad things to you, whether they were justified by law or not. And um, yeah, it's uh, it's certainly, certainly a problem we've created for ourselves. And what I'm, oh God in heaven. Oh. Oh. And it'll be interesting to see because they're still organizing, they are still rioting, they are still demonstrating. They want to they want to keep keep protesting until they get the city council to oh boy. Oh boy. To defund the police. Look at all this traffic. Oh, it's kind of exciting. Life is returning and it's terrible. Let's go back to the pandemic. My God. And you big fuel truck thing. You were going 20, now you want to go 40 and it's kind of irritating. All right. That's enough from me for one week. I mean, about, what, 18 minutes? Not bad. We showed you a little bit more of the city during the daytime, you know? And, uh, oh yeah, it's a, it's a shithole country, alright. Alright, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.